I am completely overwhelmed. Uh, and I don't get overwhelmed very easy. Uh, 700 people in the room, $1 million raised, and it's because of all of you. Uh, I, I had this long speech prepared, but some dear friends of mine have told me that prepared speeches, I was at Rayo's last week, and my dear friend sitting next to me said, prepared speeches don't work, speak, speak from the heart. And then uh, my dear friend and my son, my dear friend Keith Frankel and my son, they like to call me Mikey two times because as many of you know, I repeat myself way too often. Um, when coach Jim Valvano, when he was, his body was riddled, riddled with cancer and he gave the famous speech, don't give up, don't ever give up. He said, if you cry every day, laugh every day, and think every day, that's a great day. So I'm hoping that during this speech and this evening, you'll cry a little bit, you'll laugh a little bit, and you'll think a little bit. You guys are all angels on our shoulders in this battle. Your love, care, health, and support allows us to dream that a miracle of a cure is possible. Your love, care, health, and support gives us the strength to keep battling every day. I wish I could hug each and every one of you. I will try and do that tonight. When you put together a dinner that raises a million dollars and you have 700 people in a room, there are many, many people to thank. So I'll try and get through this quickly, and I'll try and move through this speech quickly because I don't want you guys here too long tonight. I want to move it along. So thank you to my wife, Dana. Thank you to my son, Matthew. Thank you to my brother, Ross, my sister, Marnie, my in-laws, my nieces and nephews in helping us with this battle each and every day. Thank you very much to all of you for all your love, care, help, and support. Thank you very much to all of our sponsors. Thank you very much to the committee. Thank you very much to Deb and Rachel for all the incredible work they did tonight. Thank you very much to everybody at NEFCURE. Thank you very much to Meredith, our MC. And thank you very much to Jay Badami, our honoree, and his entire fundraising staff and team. Thank you very much to everybody who helped with the live and silent auctions. Thank you very much to my dear friends, Ralph Giorgio, Todd O'Gara, and Peter Kennedy at WANU. Thank you very much to Eric and Lara Trump and, Lara, and Larry Glick and the entire Trump Organization and Curativity for all the live and silent auction items. Thank you very much to my very dear friend Keith Frankel for all his love, help, care, and support. Thank you very much to the Notorious Pink Team. Thank you very much to Joe Quintinlin. Thank you very much to Ed and Lisa Vaughn. Thank you very much to Stuart Rahr. Thank you very much to George and Britt. And thank you very much to the entire construction industry. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting closer. With your help, we have gone from two drugs to 26 drugs that will soon be in human clinical trials. 80,000 Americans lost their battle to chronic kidney disease last year, which is more than prostate cancer and breast cancer combined. As we said before, 37 million Americans battle chronic kidney disease and 26 million Americans are battling diabetes. If we open the doors to FSGS, nephrotic syndrome, and IgA nephropathy, they think we'll open the doors to diabetes as they all have similar properties. My dear friend Keith Frankel invited me to a fundraiser for his charity Teak for last week, and John Voigt, the honoree, said, Life is, life is defined by what we do for others and what we give to others. And my mentor has always said these two quotes. We make a life by what we get. We make a life by what we give. Each day of my life, I am guided by the reality, sadly to say that tomorrow, I will have one less day to make a difference in this world. Why am I telling you this? Ladies and gentlemen, every dollar counts. I used to watch the Jerry Lewis telethon and could not understand how every dollar counted. 
Now we live it every day. Every dollar brings us closer to another family, another patient, another event, another doctor, another drug, and closer to a cure. So please, tonight, with every decision you make, with the Fund a Cure initiative and the live and silent auctions, please bear this in mind. Please help us spread the word on social media about NEFCURE, FSGS, nephrotic syndrome, and IgA nephropathy in this event, as awareness and exposure and critical dollars for research is the only path to a cure. We are a small charity, but highly effective and highly motivated. We will not stop until a cure is found. There is no choice in the matter as there are too many warriors around the world battling these terrible diseases and counting on us for a cure. We will not let them down. Failure is not an option. So if you're thinking about joining a charity, helping a charity, NEFCURE can certainly use the help. I love you all more than you'll ever know. Thank you so very much. A very happy and healthy holiday season to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It means, it means the world to me. It means more to me than you'll ever know. So now, it is my honor and privilege to now introduce to you our honoree this evening, the recipient of Alv the Alvin Levine Nefcure Lifetime Achievement Award, a gentleman I have had the privilege of painting buildings for for the past 30 years. I have often said my father, Alvin Levine, was my hero my friend, my mentor, my boss, and my father, and he could leap tall buildings in a single bound like Superman. It's for these reasons why this gentleman is receiving this award tonight, because this gentleman can not only leap tall buildings in a single bound, but he's actually built some of the world's most iconic buildings, including one World Trade Center, the World Trade Center Transportation Hub, one Bryant Park, Hudson Yards, and one Vanderbilt. Jay joined AECOM Tishman in 1985 as a project engineer, and now 34 years later, Jay is president of AECOM Tishman. He is responsible for overseeing operations, administration, personnel, and business development. Under Jay's leadership, AECOM Tishman has achieved the title of number one contractor in New York, number one contractor in Los Angeles, and number two contractor in Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no easy feat. In the very difficult world of construction, to not only go from a project engineer to the president of one of the largest construction companies in the world, but with his relentless hard work, intensity, and dedication, he has taken AECOM Tishman to the top two of three of the largest markets in the country. Jay is a long-standing champion of women in the industry. Honored by non-traditional employment for women, he has been named Humanitarian of the Year by the Concrete Industry Foundation and was the Women Builders Council's first he, sh he for she award recipient. Jay currently serves the, of the chair of the board of the Regional, Regional Alliance for Small Contractors, co-chairman of the Building Trades Employers Association, vice chairman of the New York Building Foundation, and trustee of the Citizens Budget Commission. I could go on and on and on about what Jay does and what makes him so special. Jay Badami is one of the great ones, Superman to so many. If you ever have the privilege of playing golf with Jay, he always plays with a big cigar in his mouth. He never pulls out the driver. He hits, he hits the three wood off the tee all the time, straight down the middle, all the way into the hole. Methodical, slow and steady wins the race. Every shot with well thought out pre precision. Some may laugh at this approach, but Jay does not care what anyone says or thinks about this approach. He only cares what gets the job done, and this is what drives him the most. Jay's relentless hard work, his passion, his intensity, attention to, de to detail, driven to be the best, and huge heart have propelled him to where he is today. He attacked being our honoree with the same vigor, intensity, 
passion and attention to detail, and that is why we were able to raise over $1 million in his honor. As our honoree, Jay offered us his office for all meetings. Jay personally attended many of the meetings. Jay filmed videos. Jay and his team of fundraisers reached out to all their contacts to help us raise money for critical research dollars to find a cure. Jay met with our Funder Cure family, and Jay donated his time to our live and silent auction to raise more dollars for a cure. The perfect honoree. In our quest to save lives and deliver a cure to all the warriors around the world battling these devastating kidney diseases, kidney diseases that destroys kidneys, families, and lives in their path, we are always in need of a hero. Always in need of a hero. Let me repeat that. We are always in need of a hero. Today, that hero is my dear friend, Jay Badami. Congratulations to Jay, Linda, and Britt. Jay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for allowing us to dream that the miracle of a cure is possible. Thank you to you and your amazing team of fundraisers for giving us hope against the greatest odds. Thank you for giving us the strength to fight, it, fight every day. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear friend, Jay Badami. <laughs>